is the appointment. And I'm sort of kind of freaking out. So, you know, it is what it is. I got to do it. I got to do it. And I'm not talking myself out of it. Usually I talk myself out of like scary situations like this. But, nope, not this time. I'm doing it. Okay, you guys. So, I had my appointment. I am literally emotionally exhausted. That was a lot. And like beforehand... My psychologist was like, I need to warn you, this is going to be a lot. So afterwards, do something to treat yourself kind. So what I'm going to do is, I'm sitting on my couch, and I'm comfy, and I think I'm going to watch some 90 Day Fiance, or maybe some 600 Pound Life, because I'm behind on that. Oh, there's so much information. There's so much information. Okay, so, <laughs> thank goodness she's not deciding to binge or whatever, but, uh... She'll probably still eat a lot, but luckily she didn't decide, oh, I'm just going to go ahead and binge now because he said to treat myself. So luckily she didn't, she didn't do that. I almost wish I could have taken you guys to the appointment with me, if you know what I'm saying. Because it was just like, I understand myself more than ever. This is the first time from an actual eating disorder clinic program that I am officially diagnosed with binge eating disorder and they're gonna get more into like my trauma and PTSD um in the future but I also was diagnosed with ex excretion um ex I'm completely saying it wrong um it's because I pick my skin and she specializes in that too oh my god this is so great like she specializes in hold up that's a disorder oh shit i kind of do that too <laughs> oh well well not necessarily pick at my skin but i sure as hell do bite around my nails and and the nails themselves huh huh well, well the more you know um but i'm surprised that she literally thinks Okay, not not literally thinks. I'm surprised that she's surprised that she has binge eating disorder. I mean, wasn't it kind of obvious, right? Like, you would think, huh, I must clearly have something if I just can't put the fork down and I just want to keep eating and eating, right? Like that, I don't know. That should have that, that should have been an obvious sign to me, but I guess everybody's different. So you can't really, I guess, blame her for that the things that I need help on and I'm just really excited. I already have some homework I have to do. Um, I have to get some labs done. I already have my next two appointments scheduled. This is very, very pricey. Outpatient is going to be pricey, but it's going to be worth it. I also am going to get um, an appointment with a dietitian at the eating disorder clinic and I'm, I'm just thrilled because a lot of things that I've already thought she clarified for me like counting calories is just going to cause you to binge because if you tell yourself, okay, currently do not think of an elephant, do not think of a swimming pool and a hot tub, you're going to think of those things. So by counting calories, you're telling yourself, you're actively telling yourself that you're restricting your food, which makes you want to eat more. And when you already have binge eating disorder, that's just going to make it worse. I had a feeling that was going to happen. No. This is something that I kind of feel like I'm going to disagree on because sure, she might be a psychiatrist or whatever, but from real like firsthand experience, I've seen that unless you are literally counting everything that goes into your damn mouth when you're this size, you're going to gain weight. It is so easy to overstep in calories by the slightest like miscalculation. Oh, you didn't count. You didn't count the calories in the butter that you used or the, the cooking spray or the, for example, condiments, right? Like ranches on the side or ketchup or whatever. All those things add up. They really do. And if you're just going to like pretend that those aren't calories, you're going to see weight gain. Like all it takes is 50 extra calories a day to gain weight. It's really, it's really that simple. 50 calories a day. That's truly all it takes. Okay, so if we were to approach this on a on a purely statistical scale, 
Uh, 50 calories a day, multiply that by 365 for every day in the year, that's 18,250. 18, you divide that by 3,500 because I, I'm pretty sure there's 3,500 calories in a pound of fat. You get around 5.2 pounds of fat in a year from only 50 calories over. Now, obviously, this is a purely statistical uh, approach. And obviously, every day you're not going to eat the same. And every day you're not going to be moving around the same. So realistically you could probably change this to around a pound or so because obviously some days you're going to do more exercise and burn off those 50 calories no problem some days you're going to just eat less naturally without even realizing the, it, it, that's the thing with these like sort of like calculations is that sure you can't take it to heart with whatever you get because obviously every day isn't the exact same that is just not realistic and because i used to binge a lot as well and i had friends who would binge as well and it the thing was is that whenever we counted calories, sure you'd be thinking about it, but it, if you if you have a strong enough character, you'll realize, hey, I don't need this food. I'm not gonna eat it. Let me just count my calories, make sure I stay under where I need to be, and you won't have issues. If you're if you have if you have a weak like personality, I, I wouldn't say personality, but you get what I'm saying, a weak mind, one that you can easily give in to yourself. Then obviously counting calories is not the approach for you. You're going to gain weight doing that because you're you're thinking about food all the time. So then you're going to be hungry. But for for people who are like, usually they do have addictions. Yes, but they will like be like, oh, counting calories is actually helping me stay under my maintenance in order to lose weight. It's really that simple. And maybe for her, yes, it'll be a bad idea because like I said, it, it's clearly obvious that she loves to binge and she won't be able to control herself if she's always thinking about food. But for most people, counting calories is one of the best things you can do. You need to know how much food you're putting in your mouth. You need to track absolutely everything because like I said, those just 50 calories more, just 50 more. And, and you just gained, like, let's just take half of that. If you want to just like be somewhat accurate, then you'll gain two pounds. For somebody like her, it won't just be 50 more. It'll be add a zero to that 50. It'll be 500 more. And then you get a whole nother crazy number, and I don't want to do that. But you get the point. It's a very much an intuitive eating process. But, yeah, I don't know if I want to, like, go into any more details, actually, because I just am afraid of the, the, back, the backlash, which is so silly because I'm, like, seeing an actual professional. Oh, I'm just so like, I literally told them, I was like, I will do anything that you tell me to do because I'm not here to waste your time. I'm not here to waste my time. Like, I need help. I want help. And that's why I'm actually seeking it in the right area because I've been just like... I hope that's true for both of their sakes because nobody likes their time wasted. And honestly, I do hope the best for Amberlynn Reed. Sir, her psychiatrist too, I guess, because, I mean, from these videos, it kind of seems that, yeah, she's a kind of a mess but like for yeah just whatever yeah just, i hope she does well honestly amberlyn reed um i really hope that she does end up losing the weight any anytime soon would be preferable because the longer she waits the more damage her body is just having to deal with and it's, it's really not a good thing trying to get help by like beating around the bush but now i'm just like truly getting help in the area that i need it so Oh God, the first appointment's over. Now I have things that I have to do, homeworks I have to do, labs I have to get. She also wants me to get an EKG because she said that people with eating disorders um, sometimes have heart problems and that's very scary. So she just wants all that checked, which I love. So that is like the update and I guess um, a little bit of what I want to share. My girlfriend is putting a Porsche trip. <laughs> She's putting a porch strip. Alright, go babe. This is the first one I've ever done. <laughs> I'm so excited. I've always wanted to do this. I just need cucumbers on my eyes now. Uh should I be watching this? Uh, that was kind of a random Hold on. <laughs> Let me uh I mean, you guys are probably interested. You know what? I'll, I'll keep it. Whatever. I was going to say, I'll go forward and I'll skip to where she's talking about more of her um, appointment and stuff. But uh, I'm guessing you guys will want to see this too. So uh, I guess why not? I'll keep it in. Uh, 
squeaky. Because she heard a dog outside. She also bought like cuticle cream, a face steamer, a jade roller, thingy majigger. Um, we're going to have like a whole spa situation, but I had to document this moment. I'm getting treated like a queen. <laughs> the queen that I am. Hey guys, so it is the next day. Um, we just had a friend come over and now we're going to go to another friend's. Actually, Kenrickie's is where we're going get some mexican food which i am pretty freaking pumped about and then we're just gonna hang at eric and ricky's house we might stay the night Jesus. we have her back there and for those wondering she's doing a lot better like in the mornings is when we notice like her knee is more like dislocated and like popped out of place then we've been giving her her medicine and we notice like She's able to move more, like use the stairs a teeny bit. We're trying not to have her use the stairs a lot, so we pick her up when we're on the stairs. She is doing better though. Hey guys, so it's been a few days since I last filmed. Um, right now I'm just in the parking lot. My girlfriend is currently getting physical therapy and I couldn't go in there with her. COVID. Um, I don't know, I kind of just not doing very good today in particular i did upload a video titled i didn't lie i think i'm just being like like i have obviously mental illness problems that i'm trying to actively take care of especially seeing a psychologist now like a lot of just like and thoughts are coming to the surface that I didn't really want them to and it's like all while that's happening I have like hundreds of people like actively not believing something traumatic that happened to me and I think it's just like overwhelming me I'm not a perfect person I think we all can relate to that and I'm just feeling overwhelmed and like not okay I don't know it's just been it's just been really hard and to those of you who are standing by me and supporting me and like even sticking up for me in the comments i haven't seen that in a while but it's been happening i thoroughly appreciate you guys so much truly so i would like to say on a good um so before she goes on a little bit more while i'm filming well this i guess uh i do want to clarify as well this is not to bully her I have it in my description every single time. This is not to bully. If I was out to bullying, to bully her, I would literally just uh, just keep making a bunch of you know negative comments about her appearance or whatever. But I make these videos because I kind of I really do want her to succeed at her weight loss. Her channel was literally originally only for weight loss. I do want her to be successful. I do, because like. Every person deserves a chance to have to better their life, whatever way that may be. For for most people, it's something that others will think, "Huh, why would you want to do that?" But when it comes to weight loss, that's kind of universal, isn't it? You always just want to help that person because, yeah, sure, maybe not everyone understands the struggles. They'll just think they'll just look at a fat person and, and think, or if you guys want to be, you know, a little more sensitive, a person that happens to be fat. Um, They'll usually just think, oh, you know, lazy, they just eat a bunch. And sure, it's true to an extent. But then there's also, like, sometimes, like, they're, they're trying. And then you telling them those negative things is just going to hurt them. So I just wanted to clarify, this is not negative video. It's not. None of them on her are negative. I just wanted to clarify that because I know some of you people may be thinking that and will leave a dislike or whatever. I've seen you guys, but I'm, I want to make it clear. This is not to belittle her. I really do want her to succeed. No, I did weigh myself today. I haven't exactly been wanting to weigh myself a lot, but I figured I know I'm trying to recover from an eating disorder, but I'm also trying to actively lose weight. So two and two together kind of is hard, but I feel like with me trying to eat normally, weight loss is going to happen to an extent. So, I did weigh myself today and I am 495.0 on the dot. 
So last time you guys got a weigh-in for me, I think I was like 503 or something. Then I remember the next day after that, I weighed 506. So I'm down about 11 pounds. Um, I want to say in the last 10 days or so. So that's actually a really good sign and I'm very, very happy about that. So I just wanted to give a little weight loss update because I know that some of you have been curious like are you gaining weight like what's your weight so I definitely will be throwing random weigh-ins in my vlogs in the future so don't you guys worry because that's still part of what's going on here because losing weight is very important to me so I am ending my vlog but I wanted to show you guys my new paintings above my bed look at that baby goo what you doing you have a whole king bed to yourself Okay, well, um, the rest is just paintings, but, um, you know, like I said, I really do want her to succeed. I'm glad that she is losing some weight. Then again, could be water weight, could be glycogen stores, who knows? When you're that size, your weight can fluctuate by an absolute <laughs> metric ass load by doing the simplest differences, you know, drinking more water, eating more salt that one day, you know, what, eating less carbs, whatever. But... I hope that is actual weight loss, and if it is, I hope that it continues. I hope that she does get better. I really do want to see her succeed. These videos are also just to shed some light. If you guys really do feel like it, please go comment something nice. Don't be a dick. Um, yeah, she still does mukbangs, but I mean, what do you expect? That's mostly her channel's content now. But hopefully, like you know, like I said, for somebody as of her size, eating mukbangs, I guess, wouldn't really be that too bad, unless they're like huge mukbangs. Because, like I said, somebody like her needs to have around something like 5,000 calories. So, I just hope that she does good. I hope that the weight loss continues. And uh, if it does, then good for her, honestly. I really hope that she does succeed. I say that a lot, but I just want to make sure and I hammer that home. Um, thank you guys for watching.